Okay, gaming fans, uh, this is Gerald Clark with a little update on what's going on with Odyssey Key. Um, <clears throat> a lot has happened since the last update. I'm really actually very excited to share the changes. Of, uh, I've updated a little bit of the set design. I had to remove a bunch of foliage as I was exceeding my streaming budget. So uh, I started by paring it way down getting rid of all the things that were moving so far and now I'm not having any problems and I'm slowly adding stuff back so it looks a little barren compared to what it was last time I'm gonna speed up this camera speed so I can zoom you guys around here so we can go check some stuff out so so uh, let's see is that, okay let's go back up here alright so <clears throat> so what's the goal of this level of the game we're at uh, level one uh, the goal is basically there's going to be no teaming, and, and and I'm not going to tell you every everything about the gameplay. I'm just going to kind of give you some high level stuff because I don't want to give it all away. The goal is there's not going to be any teaming. Um, there will be multiplayers uh, that can be shooting at each other. You get the most points possible you know, within the time of the the gameplay, which is timed and it's very short. It's about two minutes and. Oh, what is it? Uh, I don't know. It's about two and a half minutes, something like that. Two minutes and 30 seconds, okay? 33 seconds. So it's exactly time. So from the time the bell starts and you hit the ground, there'll be other players trying to get you, and there'll be um, you trying to get them. And then each of one of these targets right now is a target. Uh, if you hit them, they can do damage to you, so you can't do that. If you shoot them and it ricochets off of uh, something on them like their weapon you could die so there are going to be bullets flying everywhere down through this corridor just to get an idea okay so this whole corridor you can see this factional clan of the opposing forces lined up on this side okay and there's uh, Marduk right there <laughs> um, they're going to be shooting down here toward you you can see there's a sample player sitting right here behind a tree. The trees will block the rounds, and uh, they're on rapid fire mode, so uh, the rounds are going to be hitting all through here and coming down. These guys are cross firing, okay, so they're going to be crossing over here. So if those bullets hit a tree and ricochet off you and hit you uh, in the right place, you could die. All right, there's a target on the hill up here uh, that you can destroy. Um, this guy is a lot of fun. Now, note if you notice uh, when you shoot them, they have some, they have a death uh, routine that they run, but it doesn't mean that you may not be able to get a few more points uh, possibly before they disappear. Okay, here's some opposing forces on this end. It's another one there, and you can see they're fully armed and shooting out of both weapons. Okay, there's Crunch up there. Um, Murdoch, Marduk, and then here's a Twin Blast in his action hero costume, which I really like. I know it's hard to do the camera slow once I get in close because I've got it set where we can zoom around really quickly. Okay, this turret up here is really great. Let's go get in front of that. Okay, so this turret is an, is an actual... It's not it's not static, okay? It's running a blueprint that basically simulates uh, acquire, search, acquire, lock, and fire on targets. And right now I've set up a kind of a random state machine, so you don't really know where it's going to shoot. Uh, but I will probably add the logic to it to uh, detect the player if they're dilly-dallying, for instance, and uh, lay some fire on them. So starting from that end, if you're... Uh, running away from the fight or anything like that or trying to sneak around behind or something like that you might just get whacked so <laughs> okay and then you can see there's a player up or there's an opposing force one of the um, shadow ops up here at the top and uh, ultimately on this level once all of the targets are destroyed you don't lose your life and you make it to this spot right here I'll have a next event level that'll go to the next level, but but for now, um, we just gotta get rid of all the targets. We're we're down at our kill or be killed uh, level of our tribal consciousness, so that's what we're gonna do. Okay, and currently um, this entity cannot be destroyed, just so you know. So shoot it at your own risk. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much it uh, for the scene set. Um, 
this one is firing live rounds and they are spraying around so you got to be really really careful where you're stepping any la round that still is on the ground that's burning and you step on it it will act like a landmine it'll destroy you okay so just so you know all right also a uh, uh, heads up i'm probably going to put a sign out in the water it's radioactive and contaminated there are places you might think you can sneak through there to get around uh, the rapid fire, but uh, don't count on it. You could die real easily in the water, okay? So you'll see that on your health meter if you step in it. And I might demonstrate that real quick so you can see how that works. <laughs> and I may have to restart a few times if I kill myself demonstrating a few things to you, okay? So <clears throat> with that said, um, what have we changed since last time? Well, since last time, the opposing force are now running opposing force blueprints. These guys way over on the other end here. So instead of just firing their lasers, now there's real rounds coming out. So that adds a whole new element to the game. Um, what else? Um, I've added a point scoring system so you can accumulate points and see that. And I've also added this countdown timer as well. And just for fun, I up in the viewport, you'll see I've added a... Um, uh, a logo animation uh, that we can put in different videos in there, maybe a demonstration of how to play the game, how to win, or a couple of things like that, or, you know, <laughs> you get the idea. So without further ado, let's jump into it and see what happens now compared to last time. Let's hit play here instead. There we go. Nobody panic. I'm here. What are we doing? Oh, we changed we change the music, too. <clears throat> Okay, if you shoot that tree directly in front of you, as soon as you come out, you will die. So don't do that. <laughs> That's why I was turned sideways like that. All right, well, let's go back here. Ooh, there's rounds hitting all around. Let's see if we can get across here without getting hit. Okay, let's see if we can get rid of this guy. Oh, yeah, okay. Looks like he's not going away. Maybe I can get a few more points. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> If I click too far to the right on this monitor, it clicks off the screen, so... Alright, now you can see those rounds hitting everywhere. we got to be really careful. Well, let's see if we can get her out of the way. Okay, you can see we've got quite a shooting range here, so let's go for Marduk first. Oh. Almost got him, okay. There's so many rounds hitting everywhere, it's hard to see uh, which ones are yours, but if you pay attention, you can see. Oh, yes, you are done. Okay, so now we got the center corridor clear. We got to get the... Probably... Oh, let's go out in the water just so I can show you what happens. Oh, we started losing health right away. Now we got to watch out. There's some bombs hitting right here. If we time it just wrong... Oh, we took a little hit there. We're going to be okay. I also added some sound to the characters, so when they die, they make funny, they say funny things. <laughs> Ow, is this the end? Could be. Oh, okay, we got him out of there. Ah, oh, notice that character, we're still getting points because he hasn't disappeared yet, so let's, let's milk it. Oh, yes, you are done. Okay, thank you. Oh, still not done yet. Alright, we gotta watch the timer. We're down to 20. We gotta get this target off the hill and that enemy off the top of the hill that's still shooting. You see the bullets strafing over my head here. Okay, we're running out of time. Woo, this is gonna be fast. Oh, he shot me. Dad gum it. All right. <laughs> I almost made it with a timer. Four seconds left, and he killed me. So his bullet probably ricocheted down to the bottom right. You can see that. And the explosion point is where it hit me. It looks like it hit me right on the arm. Anyway, um, so, uh, and then you can see the logo animation up in the upper left corner that I put in for Odyssey Key and the moving map display on the upper right. Um, what else? So there's a few more bells and whistles I add to the, I'll add to the interface, and then I'm going to be working really hard on the gameplay aspect of what we want to accomplish in this level, other than just stay alive and kill all the targets. So, um, with that said, uh, 
I think that's about all I want to share today. It's really uh, an epic day on the uh, <laughs> virtual terrain model we have here. You can see the uh, the water's flowing. Let's turn it on um, real time so you can see that water coming in. Doesn't that look peaceful <laughs> after just going through all of that? Yes. So anyway, we got a lot of terrain here that uh, we haven't used. We didn't shoot that target. So uh, to finalize the goal, you've got to kill all the targets and the turret, which uh, right now is indestructible, and then enter this temple where we'll be going to the next level. Okay, so that's kind of what it's going to be about. And there's going to be a lot more difficulties that, where you can't sneak up as easily as uh, what you just did in this one. But uh, that's where we're at this week, and I'm pretty excited about that. So let me close that for now, and uh, we'll, t we'll catch you guys up next time.